Hello beautiful people, welcome to the Sacred Life Channel with Maria, the best place for radical transformation. Today I'll be talking about how to be patient in life. Make sure to stick around until the end of my video so you can take full advantage of all my tips and tricks. Whenever we feel impatient, it's because something hasn't happened yet for us that we feel like should have already happened. It's perfectly normal to have goals and to want to reach them by a certain time. However, it's important to bring awareness to the fact that if we become overly obsessive with a goal or something that we desperately want in life, it can become a big pain point for us and quite frankly, it can even impede us from achieving that goal because we can't think clearly. The key to moving away from that dissatisfaction or that impatience is to disconnect yourself from your timeline. I know that's easier said than done, but here are a few ways that I'm able to move forward. The first thing that I do when I feel impatient and dissatisfied is I remember everything I feel will come and go. And so maybe it won't bring me immediate satisfaction but it does help ease some of the tension in my body just remembering that hey even though i feel impatient right now and dissatisfied i know that tomorrow or the following week my mood may be completely different it all depends on what actions i take forward another thing i correlate with patience is dissatisfaction of the present moment and that is because whenever i feel impatient it's usually because i believe that the next moment will bring me some sort of happiness or that next goal is what's going to make me happy in addition to that we never know when impatience strikes i never know what day i'm going to be feeling dissatisfied and so what i decided to do is implement one thing that i love and do it every single day of my life Find that one hobby that can instantly put you in a good mood, whether it's dancing, drawing, talking to a friend or a family member, listening to music. Find that one thing that can get you out of your head and into your body that can instantly lift up your spirits. I've found that doing one thing that I love every single day makes me feel like I have a more fulfilling life because I'm doing the things I love every single day. The following tip I have for you is to look at all of your options that are in front of you. Sometimes when we can be so laser focused on our goal, we forget everything else around it. And in reality, there could be 10 different opportunities or doors right in front of us. But because we're not even open-minded to them, we cease to take advantage of these opportunities. And who knows, maybe one of those doors that was right in front of you could have actually helped you get to that goal that you've been wanting for so long or working towards. These doors won't always have an opportunity in them, but a wise person would always look in front of them and around them to see what are all of the choices that they have. The last tip I have for you is to practice gratitude and appreciation for your journey so far. Forget about the goal. Switch your mindset to a growth mindset. Focus on how far you have come. What are the challenges and the steps that you've overcome to get to where you are today? It is so important to remember that at one point you were praying to be where you are today. The grass is never greener on the other side. It's always greener where you water it. So water your mind, your health, and your body on a daily basis. Next week, I'll be talking about how to wake up early and not feel tired. Let me know in the comments below, how do you overcome your impatience? If you enjoyed this video, give it a big fat thumbs up. Make sure to click the subscribe button if you haven't already so you can tune in to next week's video. Today's wisdom affirmation, I am blessed to get to experience this beautiful life every single day. Namaste.